I'm Stafford Arima, and I'm directing the Tin Pan Alley Rag at Roundabout, which begins previews June 12th. What Mark Saltzman does so eloquently in this play is, is finds that kind of commonality between these two men and brings them together in a character study about art and love and loss and inevitably friendship. I was inspired and motivated to write the Tin Pan Alley Rag when uh, I was working on an earlier project set in 1915. And I've always loved Scott Joplin's music. Um, what I discovered in the research was that Irving Berlin had an early blossoming at about this time in the ragtime era, wrote Alexander's Ragtime Band, a lot of other uh, songs that became famous, and he was only in his late 20s. Uh, it got me thinking, did, did these two uh, prominent men of music ever meet, Scott Joplin and Irving Berlin, and then what would happen if they did? Well, this cast is a dream to work with. Uh, the two leads, the two Michaels, as we call them. Michael Terrio is Irving Berlin, and Michael Boatman is Scott Joplin. And there's wonderful chemistry between them. They're, they're two opposite poles of music, these characters. That Berlin is the uh, commercial songwriter who never had a music lesson, just an instinctive genius. And Scott Joplin is uh, a ragtime composer and comported himself as a serious composer in the European mode of being a composer. The Tin Pan Alley rag is filled with uh, an extraordinary tapestry of, of music and song. It, it is uh, a love letter to these two great artists. And what makes the presentational style of this music so exciting is that it is woven within this play in a very unique and naturalistic fashion. Being the first musical presented at the Laura Pels Theatre, um, because this is a new style of musical, it seems an intimate space like the Laura Pels is, is just right. The uh, audience can be drawn into this this story, which is, is basically this dual biography, and feel the intimacy of uh, these, these two souls being expressed on the stage.